call, I would like to call the Flint Board of Education Special Board meeting to order at 6.02 p.m. Board members, as I call your name, please reply present for the public record. Vice President Wright. Absent. Secretary Ramsdell. Here. Treasurer Green. Present. Trustee McIntosh. Present. Trustee Perry. Present. Trustee Strozier. Present. <laughs> and myself, present. Vice President Wright, have you joined yet? Okay, still not. At this time, the board will hear any comments from the public. Members of the public are reminded that the Board of Education by its bylaw 1370 is not under obligation to answer questions, make statements, or comments in response to issues raised by the public. In general, such issues will be referred to the superintendent for investigation, study, or recommendation. Any public members wishing to address the board must raise their hand or submit a comment in the chat section to alert Stephen that you want to speak. Stephen will state your name prior to unmuting your microphone. You have three minutes to address the board. Please remember to restate your name and state your address for the public record before begin speaking. Stephen? Good evening, board. There are currently no comments nor any hands raised. Okay, thank you, Stephen. The public is reminded that you may also send an email to fboe at flintschools.org to have your comments re read at the board meeting. Thank you. At this time, I seek a motion and a second to go into closed session to meet with the board meeting. attorney. Back. So moved. Back. Back. Second. Oh, hi, sir. It has been properly moved and seconded. When I call upon your name, please say yes or no to go into closed session. Vice President Wright? All right, love you. Secretary Ramsdell? Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Strozier? Yes. And it's a yes for myself. The motion passes 6 0. Board members, we are now in closed session. You must close out this GoToWebinar and go into a private Zoom meeting invite sent to you from Monica. Public will return here after we come out of closed session. I would like to call the Flint Board of Education Board Committee as a whole meeting to order at 6.32 p.m. Board members, as I call your name, please reply present for the public record. Vice President Wright? Secretary Ramsdell? Present. Treasurer Green? Present. Trustee McIntosh? Present. Trustee Perry? Trustee Strozier? Present. Myself as president, uh, Vice President Wright, have you joined? President Trustee McIntosh, have you Stone joined? President. I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? Can yes. You? I was, who was that? That was Carol. It's Perry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back. So it's Miss Perry and Miss Wright who are not here just yet. This does not come a moment to be the deadliest week so far in this pandemic. More than 15 lives lost. Don't we have a quorum? Uh, yeah, we do. I was just, I was just trying to wait, but you are right. Superintendent Stewart, can you hear? Are you there? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. Um, would you like to um, say a couple words and do a moment of silence for Mr. Finch? Yes. Um, good evening, board members. Um, this <laughs> week, uh, we lost uh, someone who was very near and dear to the Flint Community Schools family, um, Assistant Athletic Director, Mr. George Finch, passed away this week. Um, if we could all do a moment of silence for Mr. Finch, and if we could start now.
I thank you for taking the time to remember Mr. Finch in a moment of silence. Mr. Finch will be missed by the staff and definitely the students of uh, Flint Community Schools. Please keep um, his family as well as the staff and the students in your thoughts and your prayers. I will now turn it back over to you, President Lester. Thank you very much, Superintendent Stewart. Um, at this time, the board will hear any comments from the public. Members of the public are reminded that the Board of Education by its bylaw 1370 are not obligated to answer questions, make statements or commitments in response to issues raised by the public. In general, such issues will be referred to the superintendent for investigation, study, or recommendation. Any public members wishing to address the board must raise your hand or submit a comment in the chat section to alert Stephen that you want to speak. Stephen will state your name prior to unmuting your microphone. You will have three minutes to address the board. Please remember to restate your name and state your address for the public record before you begin speaking. Stephen? Hello again, board. There are currently no comments or hands raised at this time. Thank you, Stephen. The public is reminded that you may also send an email to fboe at flintschools.org to have your comments read at a board meeting. Thank you. And then I will ask, has Ms. Perry joined yet? She's been having technical difficulties, so just pause for just a moment, please. Okay, and uh, did you see that Diana Wright also said she is muted and cannot be unmuted? Or she can't unmute herself, I should say. Uh, I will look into that. Right now, it just says she is self-muted. So go ahead and give it a try again there, Mrs. Wright. Trust me, Mrs. Wright is never self-muted. Oh my goodness, Casey, I heard that. <laughs> That's <laughs> good. <laughs> I'm just glad, anyway, I'm glad you were able to that. It, 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 it said I was muted by the organizer, and then when he did whatever he did, then it said I can unmute myself. So, okay, yeah. I'm, I'm fully unmuted. That's right. <laughs> I take Christmas present back. <laughs> Pardon me? I said I'd take Christmas present back for that kind of thing. Oh, you know what, Mrs. Ramsdale, I got way more important things to worry about. <laughs> I don't care what they say. <laughs> <laughs> we all do. That is a God's truth. We just lost a right. teacher. Oh, I tell you, it's heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Perry is still not with us. No, she's still having difficulty, but you can, def if you would mind opening up the HR subcommittee and um, at least calling upon Mrs. Washington. Sure. Um, so that being said, I'm going to turn the floor over to Cassandra Washington, Director of Human Resources, to begin the um, Human Resources Committee of the Whole meeting. And thank you, uh, for President. Good evening, board. Good evening. Good evening. I seek your oh, approval to move. Perfect. Oh, okay. Then I'll pause. Are you with us? Not yet. Even is Miss Perry muted by you or by herself? I'm showing self muted. I just sent her on the request. Okay. So Can you hear me now? Yep. Perfect. Loud and clear. Okay, so where are we? Just starting the Human Resources Committee of the Whole. So Cassandra hasn't even said the first action item yet. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, our first action is uh, personnel recommendations. Okay, Mrs. Washington. Thank you. I seek your approval to move action item 1.16 personnel recommendations to the regular board meeting on December 16, 2020 for approval. So moved. Second. It's been moved and properly second. Are there any discussions? Seeing none, um, we'll vote by uh, conducting a roll call vote. As I say your name, please say yes or no to approve the motion. President Lester? Yes. Vice President Wright? Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. 
Treasurer Green. Yes. Yes. Treasurer, uh, uh, Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Strozier. Trustee Strozier. Yes. Okay, and then myself, Trustee Perry. Yes. Vote passes seven zero. Um, next is one point one seven uh, approval of temporary salary increase for additional responsibilities. Mrs. Washington. Thank you. I seek your approval to move Act. Item 1.17, approval of temporary salary increase for additional responsibilities to the regular board meeting on December 16, 2020, for approval. So moved. Second. Do I have a second anywhere? Second. second. Okay, it's been moved and properly second. Uh, any discussion? I have a question. Yes, Ms. Green. Do we know who are getting these responsibilities and what exactly those responsibilities are and how much they're going to get for those increased responsibilities? You yes, weren't Green, we do. You weren't you weren't in um was that in governance we discussed that? Uh, mm, it was in no. the HR subcommittee meeting. HR uh, subcommittee, not an HR. Right. If, okay. So if you will see in your packet, um, in the resolution section after the temporary salary increase, is the actual breakdown of the employee chart. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm, and the and the calculation. Okay. Okay. And who's doing uh -huh. it and what they're getting for doing it? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Miss Green compensation for doing it and who's going to be doing the, the extra responsibility yes ma'am yes and is it coming from a stipend if that still stands yes it is a stipend the stipend will be thirty nine hundred dollars uh for the remainder of the school year so it's temporary it is due to okay. the transition of the executive director of accountability and those duties and responsibilities um have been distributed amongst other team members within our current organizational structure. So, um, and it, the funding source will be the 21H grant. Uh, oh. that, that is the remaining monies of the salary that was paid for that executive director position. 21H grant. And where you say that is in the package? I'm sorry. Uh, it is in resolutions page, let me see. It says page eight. Five, eight. Oh. Eight. Yes, page eight. Page eight. Once, once this is school year is over, and are we going to replace the person who was doing those responsibilities? Are we going to replace that person? Yes, that okay. is administration's plan. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're going to replace. Superintendent said we're going to replace. However, it may not be an executive position. Oh, that's important to know. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and I guess we must do. I have two packets. In one packet, it breaks down the uh, 21H grant covering the increases on page five. Am I in the wrong packet, you guys? Or is this the old packet? It, it sounds like you're in the right packet. Okay. The page number. I mean, I know the page number on the packet I just got, but. It sounds like you're in the right page packet. It says okay. I, do have a, I do have a question, Miss Cassandra. I wrote okay. it down. It threw me off when you guys said page eight. I want to know what are the stipulations for using this grant? The 21H grant, this this is, is acceptable under that grant. It allows for this. Um Yes, it is acceptable under the grant. Uh, we did confer uh, as the, um, you know, the, the team and took a look at it to make sure that it was acceptable. These are the duties and the responsibilities that fell up under that structure uh, where, the, or where the executive director was providing, was paid by this grant and was uh, overseeing staff that were actually doing specific responsibilities. So we were able to uh, move those responsibilities over to other staff members. Uh, it is still the work that is 
allowable uh, and payable by the grant. And so the transition and the continuation is allowable under the grant. Okay, and you're taking over the director of what duties for this grant, uh, Stifer? Director of, what was she? She was the executive director of district accountability and school performance. Polly, it was Polly Carroll. Yes. Right. Okay, that, no, I don't have anything else. Any other discussion? Okay, seeing none, we'll have a roll call vote. President Lester? President Lester? Okay, he's gone. Vice President No, Wright? I was muted. Yes. I'm sorry, <laughs> I was muted. Yes. I did it okay. again. Girl, come on. Vice President Wright? Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Strozier? Yes. And myself, Trustee Perry? Yes. Vote, pa vote passes 7 0. Uh, we have an information item. That's the organizational chart that's in your board packet. And it begins on page nine. Were there any questions on the organizational chart? Okay, seeing none. Thank you, Mrs. Washington. I do I do have a question. Yes, ma'am. On our organizational chart, I see Miss Wood, and I don't know even if this is important that Miss Wood is elevated. Is that the uh it has it has superintendent in the front desk receptionist, Miss Trina McCullen. And Ms. Nita lined up, and I'm not sure if that even matters, or is that just how it's set up, or is this the uh, pyramid um, of structure? Is Ms. Wood positioned right under the school board and over our superintendent, and is the front desk receptionist in line with Ms. Stewart? Oh, I see. Thank you, so, Carol. So what the positioning on the org chart shows is that um, Mrs. Wood is a uh, administrative support to both the Board of Education and the superintendent. And okay. so, um, so, okay. So she is not, it's not that she's o over the superintendent, it's just that she's the support and the liaison between the board and the superintendent, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then one other piece on there, on that same page where it says Director, Student and Family Services, Ernest Stewart, it does not show you where his salary comes from. He has a blended salary. It just got, it was cut off when, when it was being uh, put in. So his salary is blended. Okay. And I want to make sure I update that uh, prior to it being placed on a transparency page. Thank you, ma'am. Anything else? Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I also see the front desk receptionist has a line only going to the superintendent. Is she strictly uh, assistance for the superintendent? I don't see her connected to anything else. Um, no, Miss uh, Trina, the receptionist uh, supports the uh, entire central office uh, with visitors, uh, but she, her, her position falls up under the office of the superintendent. And so that's why she is positioned right next to the superintendent as the direct report uh, to Mrs. Stewart. However, she provides services through uh, to the entire central office. Okay. Is that it? Yes, from me. Seeing no further action, I declare the Human Resources Committee of the whole meeting adjourned. I now turn the floor over to Vice President Wright for the Governance Committee of the whole meeting.
At this time, I would like to call the Governor's Committee of the Whole meeting to order. I will call upon Mrs. Stewart to present action items to the board. Good afternoon. I seek your approval to approve action item 5.11, second reading and adoption of amended board bylaws, sections 1100, 1152, 1300. So moved. Seconded. Seconded. It has been properly moved and second. Is there any discussion? If there is discussion, you'll just have to speak out because I'm on my phone, so I can't see you guys. Okay, seeing none, the vote is on the motion to approve action item 5.11, second reading and adoption of amended board bylaws section 1100, 1152, and 1300. So moved. Seconded. <laughs> okay, we already did that part. As I call your name, please say yes or no to this motion. President Lester. Yes. Secretary Ramsdale. Yes. Treasurer Green. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trustee Strozier. Yes. And myself, Pre Vice President Wright. Yes, the motion passes 7-0. I seek your approval to approve action item 5.12, second reading and adoption of temporary remote work policy. No more. Second. Second. It has been properly Moved and second. Is there any discussion? Uh, whose screen is this that has the agenda on it? Who's in charge of that? I'm, I'm adjusting that now. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's all I had to say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Seeing no for, no discussion, the motion the vote is on the motion to approve. Action item 5.12, second reading and adoption of the temporary remote work policy. As I call your name, please say yes or no to approve the motion. President Lester. Yes. Secretary Ramsdale. Yes. Treasurer Green. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trustee Strozier. Yes. And myself, Vice President Wright. Yes, the motion passes 7-0. Thank you, Mrs. Stewart. And that is all, wait a minute, that is it. Wait, I'm sorry, we have an announcement. Um, well, no, we don't. I will be turning the floor over to Treasurer Green for the Finance and Operations Committee of the Whole. Um, thank you, Mrs. Wright. I would like to call the Finance Committee of the whole meeting to order. I will now call upon Ms. Don Prey to present the item to the board. Hi, good evening, board. I seek your approval to move action item number 11.58, authorization to execute salting services extension agreement for the winter 2020 to the regular board meeting on December 16, 2020. So moved. Second. It's been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes. Mrs. I'd, I'd like to know, is, are there going to be any adjustments made to our contract since we won't have um, school bus traffic in there? Or is it going to be the same because we're responsible for property? Or is there some way we can work? We're not responsible for the full obligation of the contract. We won't have a vehicle because we're not doing face-to-face -face learning. How does that work? So I'm going to ask Mr. Chapman, defer to Mr. Chapman. Yes, it's part of the contract. So it's it's a flat fee for that, no matter if we have school or not. Depend, if we could have 
um, seven tons of snow and not have any snow. So that's just part of the contract. Okay. Do we have the stop, Mr. Um, Chapman? Yes, ma'am. Oh, we do have the stop. Okay. Um, yes. Is there any more questions, guys? I can't see Mrs. Wright or President Lester. No questions. I'm good. Okay. Mrs. Ramsdale, any questions? No, just kind of an affirmant for what you say. Most contracts for salt and snow removal are a set price because nobody knows how much or how little snow you'll get. So that's pretty much anything like this I've had to deal with that's pretty much the same thing, just to support of what your statement was. Oh, so I have you another have question or comment. So okay. should we, Perry, we did you, hold on care one second. Ms. Perry, did you have any comment or questions? No, ma'am. Okay, Ms. McIntosh. Should we maybe consider um, looking or putting something in our contract stating if we don't have, I mean, because what if we don't get but maybe two, two, three days of snow and then we're paying out thousands and thousands and no services actually needed to be rendered? Do we have a flexibility in our contract as it pertains to that? I, I'm going to just say something here, uh, Carol, Ms. McIntosh. My experience, and my experience comes from contracting people for like the farmer's market and some other groups that I've belonged to. And usually it's just a flat out price because nobody knows what right. it's going to be like. And so usually, this is usually the way that it's done. You get a flat price. And if you have more snow, you get more service. If you have less snow, you get less. But it's all the same price. That's just been my experience. And so I'm, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm sharing what my experience has been with it. I got you. But that's a good question, Ms. McIntosh. I still think that's a good question. That may be how it's usually done, but a, is there yeah. any exceptions that can be made? I mean, it would save us some money. I mean, that's what I was considering, like, yeah. for the can we look at that? Because like I said, and I understand you have no idea of what's going to drop, but like right. I said, have a black winner yeah and i don't i don't know it seems like we should be able to put some special language in the contract stating if we have less than uh so many serious snow days then we renegotiate or look at what services was rendered to you know but that's in the future and i just want to kind of put that out there so i'm done with it. thank you so much Ms. ramsdale for your input thank you Ms. Oh. McIntyre. Is there any more questions, any more discussion? Seeing no further discussion, the motion is to move action item 11.58 to the regular board for adoption. I will conduct a roll call. I will say your name. Please say yes or no to approve the motion. President Lester. Yes. Vice President Wright. Yes. Trustee, I mean, Secretary Ramsey, I'm sorry. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trustee Strozier. Trustee Strozier. Um, myself, Danielle Green. Yes. Motion passes six zero. Get down here, Blake. No. No. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Don Prey. I appreciate you very much. Seeing no further action, I declare the Finance and Operations Committee of the whole meeting adjourned. I now turn the floor over to President Lester for the Board Committee of the whole portion of the meeting agenda. Perfect. Uh, I call to order the Board Committee of the whole. Um, I will call to the floor Superintendent Stewart. Mr. Lester, I believe this first piece is yours. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Let me just stop. I'm sorry. I'm already retired, apparently. Um, okay. Board committee as a whole. <laughs> Except, uh, action item 21.19, acceptance of superintendent's 2020 mid-year performance evaluation. I seek your approval to move action item 21.19 to the regular board meeting on December 16, 2020 for approval. So moved. Seconded. It has been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, the motion to move action item 21.19 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be conducted by a roll call vote. Vice President Wright? 
Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Strozier? Yes for me. The motion passes 6-0. Now I call upon Superintendent Stewart. Thank you. I seek your approval to move action item 21.20 resolution to approve second addendum to school bus transportation services agreement to the regular board meeting. So moved. Seconded. It has been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, the motion of action of 21.20 to the regular board meeting will be conducted via roll call vote. As I call your name, please say yes or no to approve this motion. Vice President Wright? Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. Treasurer Green? Treasurer Green? Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Stroger? <laughs> Treasurer Green, are you back? Oh, I thought everybody was frozen except me. Okay, I'm here. I thought everybody froze, and it was me. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I'm, yeah, I'm okay. here. Yes, for me. I'm okay. sorry. The motion passes six zero. Um, I, I seek your approval to move action item twenty one point twenty one resolution to approve claim resolution agreement. So moved. Seconded. It has been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, the motion of action 21.21 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be a roll call vote. Vice President Wright? Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. No, Ms. Scott. Treasurer no, Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Stroger? And myself is a yes. The motion passes 6-0. I seek your approval to move action item 21.22, resolution to approve claim resolution agreement, Granger, to the regular board meeting on December 16th. So moved. So moved. Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? No discussion. The motion of action of 21.22 to the regular board meeting will be conducted via roll call vote. Vice President Wright? Yes. Secretary Ramsdale? Yes. Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. And that's a yes for me. The motion passes 6 0. Thank you, Superintendent Stewart. At this time, I will turn the floor over to Secretary Ransell for the Academics Committee of the Whole meeting. I'd like to call the Academic Committee of the Whole to order. I would like to call upon Ms. Kiana Murphy, who will be substituting for Mr. Jones, who is uh, not feeling well, to present items to the board. Ms. Murphy? Good evening, board. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I seek your approval to move action item 25.33 to the regular board meeting uh, on December 16th, 2020 for approval. So moved. Second. <clears throat> it has been moved and properly second. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. See no discussion. The, the motion to move action item 25.333 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be conducted by a roll call vote. President Lester? Yes. Vice President Wright? Yes. Treasurer Green? Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Uh, uh, Trustee Perry? Yes. Treasure, Trustee Strozier? 
and my, I, and uh, absent and myself, Secretary Ransell. Motion passes six zero. Um, go ahead. Sorry about that. I seek your approval to move action item 25.34 to the regular board meeting authorization to purchase approved items from the section 41 bilingual education grant fiscal year 21. It has been properly so moved. Go ahead. It's been moved. It has been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Seeing there's no discussion, I have one question. Ms. Murphy, do we have any idea how many bilingual children we actually have in the district now or no? We do. Um, I don't want to misquote uh, Ms. Ramsdale or give you a number from my remembrance. Um, that is definitely information that we have to monitor and track. And uh, our coordinator, Ms. Perot, knows exactly who those students are and what level of service they receive based upon uh, their test scores on the WIDA. So that's definitely information that I can provide uh, to Superintendent Stewart to give to you all. But yes, we definitely know who those students are and they have been receiving services uh, even in this remote space that we're, we're learning in. Well, that's good to know. If anybody else is interested, fine. But if not, I won't be concerned about it. But that's just nice to know. Um, is there any other questions? Uh, seeing no uh, no other questions, um, the motion is to move action item 25.34 to the regular board meeting for adoption. It will be conducted by a roll call vote. President Lester? Yes. President, Vice President Wright? Yes. Treasurer Green? Yes. Treasurer McIntosh? Yes. Trustee, Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Strozier? No response. Myself, Secretary Ramsdell, motion passes 6 0. Ms. Murphy? Yes. Authorization to purchase approval. I seek your approval to move action item 25.35 to the regular board meeting on December 16th, 2020, for approval. So moved. Second. Second. It's been properly moved and second. Is there any discussion? I have a question. Go ahead. Just for clarification for me, um, 25.34 and 25.35 looks like the same except for the carryover grant part. What, what does that mean, Ms. Murphy? Sure. So we receive, this is a, a grant that we receive annually from the Michigan Department of Education. So one of them, the first one, 25.34, is our FY21, our current school year allocation. And okay. 25.35 is our carryover. There were funds that were not expended last year. Uh, you know, okay. as you all know, our services were interrupted in March. And so many of the grants have some carryover funds that we are reallocating to service students this year. So okay. they are um, the same title grant. They have the same title, but one of them is for our new allocation for this current school year. And the other is for the carryover funds that we have remaining where, that we didn't expend from last year. <clears throat> okay, thank you so much. You know, it's nice to know that uh, some carryover funds we actually get to keep. Sometimes that doesn't happen. Is right. there any discussion? Seeing no other discussion, the motion to move action item 25.35 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be conducted by a roll call vote. Mr. Lest, President Lester. Yes. Vice President. Yes. Pres Treasurer Green. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trustee Strozier. No response. By self Secretary Ramsdell. Motion passes 6 0. Um, Ms. Murphy. I seek your approval to move action item 25.36 to the regular board meeting on December 16th, 2020, for approval. So moved. So moved. Do I did I hear, hear that? I'm sorry. So moved. So moved. moved and, okay, it's been properly moved and seconded. Um, is there any discussion? Seeing no discussion, the motion to move action item 25.36 to the regular board meeting for adoption 
will be conducted by a roll call vote. As I call your name, please say yes or no to approve the motion. President Lester. Yes. Vice President Wright. Yes. Treasurer Green. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trust Trustee Strozier. Myself, Secretary Ramsdale, motion passes 6-0. Ms. Murphy. Yes, I seek your approval to move action item 25.37 to the regular board meeting on December 16th, 2020 for approval. So moved. Seconded. It's been properly moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yes. Um, authorization to purchase approved items from the 21. So this is a reiteration of the first uh, conversation we had about the 21H, or this is something else? Mm -hmm. So this, the, we have uh, previously brought to the board the 21H uh, partnership agreement grant that was carryover from last year. So okay. that uh, we brought that, I, I believe it was last month for action and you all approved that. And so this is our FY21 grant. So every year we're eligible to apply for these uh, partnership district funds. And so to your point, Mrs. McIntosh, yes, those funds for the stipend that uh, Mrs. Washington discussed earlier are included in this budget so that instead of putting the position in the FY21 budget, because the position is no longer there, we put the stipends there. Okay, okay, I got you. I see what's going on. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Um, I, I say this, if we, I'm sure we're doing, spending the carryover money first, and then we go into this year's, it's possible we then could have carryover money for next year, which we can use every dime we can get. So just a thought. Is that kind of how it would work, Ms. Murphy? We we have a practice of first in, first out. So we want to get the carryover out first. And then and, and so we're definitely being very intentional about our utilization. So I, I love that response. Thank you very much. Um, seeing no dis further dis is there any further discussion? Seeing no discussion, motion to move action. 25.37 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be conducted by a roll call vote. As I call your name, please say yes or no to approve this motion. President Lester? Yes. Pre Vice President Wright? Yes. Treasurer Green? Yes. Trustee McIntosh? Yes. Trustee Perry? Yes. Trustee Strozier? No response. Myself, Secretary Ramsell? Motion passes uh, six zero. Ms. Murphy? I seek your approval to move action item 25.38 to the regular board meeting on December 16th, 2020 for approval. So moved. So second. It's been moved and properly second. Is there any discussion? Yes. Um, purchase approved items from the federal coronavirus relief. Is this for like masks, thermometers, exactly what coronavirus um, issues will this these funds be addressing? Yes, there, there are line items in, uh, in this budget to address the PPE needs of both staff and students, but these funds also allow us to address any barriers that have presented itself as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. So one of the things that we know that we have been intentional about uh, purchasing additional uh, devices for students, for staff. Uh, these funds can be used to ensure that we can have a continuity of education for students in the virtual setting and a face-to-face -face setting. And so if we need signs or stickers for social distancing um, from, from hotspots for students, these funds can be utilized to address those barriers that have presented themselves as a result of the pandemic. Okay, so all things pandemic worthy. Correct. So any interruptions we've had to address as a result of the pandemic. All right, I got you. I got you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Is there any other question? 
Seeing no discussion, the motion to move action item 25.38 to the regular board meeting for adoption will be conducted by a roll call vote. As I call your name, please say yes or no to approve the motion. President Lester. Yes. Vice President Wright. Yes. Treasurer Green. Yes. Trustee McIntosh. Yes. Trustee Perry. Yes. Trustee Strozier. Absent. Myself, Secretary Ramsell, motion passes 6 0. Ms. Murphy? That oh, I, my I'm action just, item. Is that, yes, that was your last action item. I'm sorry. Uh, there is a comparative membership report from uh, October 7th. Are there any questions about the report? What exactly is it? What, what is the comparative membership report? Uh, the number of students we have enrolled. That was, okay. 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 And can you give me that number since since we have it up here? Because I don't think I have it. Oh, is it on the back? It's on the back. Okay. And, and it's number sixty-nine. I got it. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, are there any other questions? Seeing uh, no for uh, first of all, thank you, Miss Murphy. Thank you for stepping in, and thank you for all you do. Um, seeing no further action, I declare the Academics Committee of the whole meeting adjourned, and I now turn the floor back to President Lester. Before we adjourn, do any board members have any comments? Perfect. Our regular board meeting is scheduled for next Wednesday, December 16th at 6.30 p.m. Seeing no further action, I declare the board committee to the whole meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Have a great Good night. Day. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Stay Bye -bye. Safe, everybody, stay safe. <laughs>